we're making cupcake burgers. And burger bites. My name is Laurie and you're watching The Icing Artist. First off, we're gonna make some cupcake buns. Now, I made a batch of vanilla cake batter that is going to give us the perfect domed cupcake. It took me four batches of cupcakes to make sure it was gonna look like a burger bun. That's just how much I love you guys. Or how insecure I was about my cupcake baking abilities. <laughs> I'm gonna scoop those into some cupcake liners and to make those burger bites, I'm just gonna bake some mini cupcakes. In all of the years I've been baking on YouTube, I have never baked mini cupcakes before. First for everything. I'm just gonna pop those right in the oven. Next up, we're gonna make those burger patties, which I'm gonna use some brownies. I found a recipe from Gemma Stafford. Oh my gosh, it is the best brownie recipe. It is so good. I just poured that in an eight by eight pan and pop that off in the oven. If you guys haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Now while those bake, I am going to prep the must-have side to every burger. Of course, some french fries, except instead of french fries, we're making sugar cookie fries. Now, I have already gone ahead and made my sugar cookie dough, so that way you guys didn't have to see me making all these different recipes. We're just getting to the fun stuff. I rolled out my dough about a quarter inch, and we're just cutting those into thin little fry-like strips. Now, it is perfectly fine that those strips are not the same width going across all the french fries, because french fries would not be the same width, and we're gonna be cutting into different lengths, so you've got that variation there. Now that those are out of the oven, we're gonna have to add some salt to these french fries. Except instead of salt, we're gonna be using sugar. And to get that sugar to stick, I just wet the sugar cookies with a little bit of water and then sprinkled my sugar right on top. And to answer your question, no, the water did not make the sugar cookies soggy. Perfectly crispy. And we're just gonna set those aside for now. Now that our cupcakes are out of the oven, it's time to turn these cupcakes into burger buns. I just peeled those liners off the cupcakes very carefully because I didn't want the cake to go chunking out on me. And cut those in half. If you find your burger buns are a little bit too thick, I just cut a little bit more off the cake and that worked out great. And our little mini buns too. Now these buns are gonna need some sesame seeds. And to get those sesame seeds to stick, I just used a little bit more water again. It's kind of like egg washing the top of a bun, except instead of egg wash, it's just water and sesame seeds. Now for the challenging part, getting those burger patties ready. You take a circle cutter and you cut out the circle and that's it, you're, you're done. Easiest burgers I've ever made. Now what's a burger without some delicious toppings? So for my mustard and ketchup, I'm just gonna dye some buttercream. For the mustard, I use yellow, orange, and ivory and just mix that up. If you wanted to do like that peppercorn, honey mustard kind of mustard, you could always just add those like little round sprinkles into it, that would be cool. And for the ketchup, I just used some red and ivory food coloring. Now for a ruffly lettuce, I'm gonna do it out of buttercream too, except I'm gonna use my Russian piping tip to make that really pretty ruffle pattern. If you guys wanna see this Russian piping tip video, click the eye, they're really cool. And for some relish for those pickle lovers, cause I, I love pickles on my burgers. I just took some green little chewy candies and chopped those up nice and fine, and then took a little bit of gel paste that I dyed a relishy green color. Mix those in together and boom, you've got relish. And last but certainly not least, like the favorite topping on a burger. So I took some yellow fondant and just added a little bit of orange into there to make some orangey yellow cheese. Rolled that out and then just cut out these little squares. Assembly time. I'm gonna slide that delicious brownie patty right onto the bottom burger bun. Add on some melty looking cheese. And then top it off with my favorite toppings. With a little lettuce, I'm just ruffling my hand going back and forth and letting the tip do all of the work. That looks amazing. And I did the exact same thing with my little tiny burger bites, which is adorable because they're so small. And these look perfect stacked up. I cannot believe how amazing these like french fries and burgers turn out. They look awesome. But if you guys wanna kick it up to the very next level, especially for Father's Day, I found these little templates online that you guys can print out and make these little trays with these little Father's Day fries. How cute is that? Of course, I will leave the templates down below in the description box. Love how perfect these are for summer, or for a barbecue, for anything. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Of course, don't forget to come back here again next week so we can make something else in the cake. Bye guys.